I spoke to Dr. Ravi Anand, who is an assistant professor and a member of Center for Quantum Technologies. Listen in. So, a breakthrough achievement. Thank you for speaking to Republic First. And again, like I was saying, a breakthrough achievement, the Maurana chip. Tell us something about uh, the chip in simplified terms, if you can, please. Okay, hi, thank you. I'm Ravi. Uh, thank you for having me on this. So, just to give a small uh, example of to understand how this is a breakthrough in a way, is that consider that you have a very a uh, fragile piece of paper in which you have to write and so it is so fragile that even if you write a word on that and it moves it breaks then you have lost everything that's there but now that is what happens with qubits in a way the, the other things what this microsoft chip now does here is that uh, you write it on on that same fragile paper in say using some invisible ink and you can only see that when a light is put on that at a certain angle. Now what happens in this is you are not moving the uh, paper now. Instead you are using the slide, you are not breaking the paper anyway. And so there is less errors, there is uh, less chances of breaking that paper now. So you can actually, that's why if you go through the, uh, the blogs of the Microsoft that you read, it say that it can be scalable to many other, I mean higher qubits. That's what it happens. So, in layman terms, it's just that you are using that same uh, fragile paper in such a way that you are not breaking it and so it becomes less error prone. Right, sir. So, also if you could quickly just touch upon what exactly quantum computing is and again, like I said, in simplified terms for our viewers. Uh, okay, so quantum computing is, uh, is a way of doing calculations which is faster and more powerful than whatever computers that we have now. And it makes use of uh, the, uh, what do you say, uh, the laws of physics, uh, the laws of quantum, the, the laws of quantum that we say. It makes use of that laws of physics in it. And then it helps us to make some calculations which are, uh, what do you say, in a really fast and super organized manner. So for example, just say like suppose our ATM, the pin is four, like if you remember you have, you have to choose any random four numbers. Now if you forget your ATM pin, then you have to try nearly 10,000 different, uh, what do you say, at the, in the worst case, you have to try 10,000 different numbers to get to the correct number. But in quantum computing, you can actually do all of that at once. Like you can see, you can do all these 10,000 computations in just one uh, query, if you say. So now you can see that uh, it, act, it, it becomes very fast because you're doing a lot of calculations at once. Of course, it will have its own restrictions and it will have its own uh, what do you say? You'll have to do a lot of post-processing and those things which are there. But just to understand it, just think of it like quantum computing will help you in doing many calculations right, which will be very fast. Right. And you'll it will not only really help in... Uh, and it will have many applications later right. in the future in healthcare, uh, bankings and all right, those things. Sir. 